Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and thank you all so much for tuning in for this day where I'm gonna celebrate. We are gonna celebrate 13 wins in a row, guys. If you look at Knights of Zion, my clan, uh, war win streak, 13 wins in a row. Look at this war log, guys. I mean, we've been killing it. Knights of Zion, the members of my clan, they've been they've been killing it. I've, I've been doing okay, but they've been killing it. And um, the last two wars, actually the last, uh, yeah, the last two wars were super, super close, guys. 39-39, we won in a tie. Total Destruction was above theirs. Um, but shout out to Loyalty and Power. That's actually the clan, the war, that we're going to be showing today, guys. I'm going to show my favorite tunnel, 12v12, 11v11, and two 10v10 attacks today. So if you are any of those, 10, 9, no way, uh, 12, 11, or 10, then you can learn something here. If you're a tunnel 9, about to be a 10, you can learn something here as well. Or if you're just starting out, check out the video and share it with the clan because this is what top level clans really look like. It's fun. I, I'm, I'm having a blast, guys. And we are going to show the very first attack, a tunnel 12 v 12 Restar, guys. So check out the uh, army composition. You have a bunch of uh, giants, 11 giants, 3 witches, 16 bowlers, and uh, it's actually got 5 healers. So he is going in with a queen walk. And what's so funny about this attack, and by the way, shout out to Crackers, got it, by the way, for the 3-star, is that Crackers hits this base in a completely different way than I would have hit it. I mean, I saw this base design and I had a totally different strategy set up, and Crackers manages to triple it with a, uh, a method, a way that I really thought was not the best. Whenever I saw him do this, I was like, there's no way he's going to triple this base. We needed the three star to win. I mean, remember, guys, we um, we tied the war. So if, if Crackers had not tripled this base at the end of the war, it would have been a loss. We would have lost. So shout out to Crackers for that. Although it is a team game, you cannot give all the credit to one person. Crackers deserves a lot of credit for this triple. So coming in, uh, guys, he decided to Queen Walk and take out the Town Hall immediately. And, you know, that's always a good thing. He's also got his wall record doing some tanking, which is on the corners. He threw down a layer of giants, a long linear layer of giants, and now the bowlers. Now check it out. Raid spell, jump spell, leading them into the eagle artillery, and a poison spell on the CC. Things are looking solid up to this point. Again, guys, whenever I was watching this attack live, I was like, bro, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way, but he, he manages to bend. It's crazy. Uh, so, um, uh, Grand Warden's ability protecting his troops from the Eagle Artillery. The group up at the top kind of peters out, kind of dies out there at the end. But it is all good. He keeps his bowlers under rage. He doesn't have another jump spell, which would have been ideal here. But had he had the jump spell, he wouldn't have had the heal to keep things going. Now, did he need the heal? Guys, let me know in the comments what you think about that. Because, I mean, he's got a healer right there. So, does he really need the heal spell? I don't know. I think another jump might have done him well. But unfortunately... His queen, oh wow, look at that queen, steps into and out of the radius of the Inferno Tower. Oh my goodness. And then now the queen's going to shoot down the Inferno by herself and then sit there and stare at the wall for a while. Very unfortunate for the queen to get stuck, but that was amazing, guys, that she stepped. She started getting targeted by that Inferno Tower. She walks out and then back in, but the bowler that was walking with her actually took all the aggro. So very, very nice indeed. Now we do have it, a split in the attack now. Giants up on the right-hand side taking care of that Inferno, or the uh, Tezzas on the outside, all by themselves. And um, and now we just have bowlers. Now, this is definitely GG. Unfortunately, the Queen died. She did step right onto a giant bomb on the outside, but the bowlers will take care of the outside. And now it's all about these defenses. You get a Tesla, corner Tesla, very tricky, Marco, very tricky. Um, and uh, Wizard Tower being uh, basically Wizard Tower got wrecked to distract on the Giants, and now it comes down to the Arch Tower. So Crackers basically just manhandled the base. I mean, just pushed straight through. Um, you don't normally see Queen Walk starting at the Town Hall. Normally you see that to where the uh, Wall Wrecker could come from the opposite side of the Town Hall to make a lot of damage, but it worked. I'm shocked. So guys, oh, and by the way, Valkyrie's in the, in the Wall Wrecker. So guys, if you want to try out a strategy, try this one out. Queen Walk, Bow Witch, bunch of giants. Worked out really, really nicely. So shout out to Crackers for the three star. Hashtag love Crackers in the comments. Now, let's check out an 11v11. This is Andrew, okay? Andrew is a, a trialist. He's actually a new member in the clan. And what I like to do with the new trialists is obviously we, we, uh, we're we pretty hard on them. We make sure that they know what they're doing before they join the clan. By the way, guys, if you want to join the clan, be sure and join the Discord server and fill out the uh, join application that is in the hashtag welcome section. The link for the Discord is in the um, is in the description or it's in the clan description, one or the other. But you can find that if you are um, 
You can find that if you're in game, in game. Check out Knights of Zion and check out the clan description. But here we go, guys. Actually, Andrew, look at this. This is a, this is very similar to my attack strategy, like the exact same um, type of deployment. But of course, I'm on tunnel 12. So the base design's different, but it's just funny. It's uncanny. The angles are the same. So, oh, and look at that. Look at all of those troops running around. The king, the bowlers, everybody going around. This is actually not a terrible thing. Normally in attacks, you want to see everything kind of go into the core so they can gut it from the inside out. But having some bowlers and maybe the king, a tank, follow around the outside is good because then it clears the outside portion of the base. So, very, very nice. Um, uh, Warden's ability clearing the way. Notice he's got another jump spell leading him into another really dangerous location, a dangerous section of the base. And, um, yeah, bowlers like crazy. Oh, wall breakers. Wall breakers. Yes, very nice. Wall breakers going to send his troops in. Maybe a few. He needs those giants to get up in front of those witches. Otherwise, the witches are going to eventually get caught up to and wiped out. This is a very nice attack, guys, by the way. Andrew, everything kind of coming together at the end. Doing a great job. By the way, Key, is it Keezer or Kaiser? <laughs> I don't know. But Andrew doing a fantastic job, guys. The mechanic on the other side. By the way, I think the mechanic had a three-star, maybe even a six-pack. So shout out to him. But um, Andrew did a fantastic job in one of his first attacks in Knights of Zion. Very, very impressive indeed. And look at this, guys. The best part is that the queen, who is uh, level 50, it looks like a six on my preview here, but um, basically queen still has her special ability. I mean, not only did Andrew beat the base in three-star, but he beat it with style, guys. Having a queen, he could basically um, swag his queen ability, unless he actually does. Wouldn't that be wild, right? Yeah, that's pretty dang good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a bunch of bowlers and giants coming in from the backside, too. So he basically swagged his queen ability. He might throw it down at the very, very end. Or maybe he forgot he had it. I don't know. Nope, there it is. There you go. Very, very nice. So yet again, another version of, like, the Queen Walk Bow Witch. Very strong strategy. Really recommend you try it out. And this time, he brought bowlers in the wall wreckers. So try it. Max bowlers or max Valkyries in your wall wreckers. Let us know in the comments which one you think works better. But shout out to Andrew once again for that. Now, if we bounce back down, we're going to check out a Tunnel 10 three-star. This is Armchair General. Now, again, going with the ground strategy, we've got Valkyries and Augs. This is actually a strategy that I've used many times in streams and three-star live. It was a lot of fun. It's a great strategy for Tunnel 10s. If you want a Tunnel 10 three-star strategy, be sure and check this one out. Um, I don't know if it's the, the Falcon necessarily. I, I don't know 100%. If it's the exact same composition for it, but it's pretty dang similar. A queen walk, Valkyrie dive, and um, look at that funnel. Funnel the queen to the left. Baby dragon and whatnot being used on the right-hand side, so now the queen's been forced to go in toward this side. So you're probably going to see... Ooh, look at that. Okay, we got a baby dragon. Oh, and the queen breaking into the wall. Armchair General decides to throw down a wall wrecker just close enough to the queen to force her into the core. Very, very nice. And um, wall wrecker now coming in. We got a poison spell over that CC. A freeze over the single targeting Inferno to keep that wall wrecker alive. Great, great um, deployment so far, guys. Queen is working on that enemy CC. Rage spell in the core. Unfortunately, these Valkyries like to target the Queen, but that's good because Queen outputs a lot of damage. So there you go. Core is now gutted. And now it's kind of a mad dash. You've got to kind of follow along with your Valks and make sure that they're nice and raged up. Keep your heroes alive. And check it out, guys. The Hogs on the right-hand side being kept alive here. Um, need a heal spell on those Hogs, by the way, Armchair General. There we go. A little bit late, but just on time. Getting that heal spell down. And there's that King's ability, by the way. I was about to mention, he has not used either one of his hero's abilities yet. But, yes, the Hogs are used. Like, the, the Valkyries are used to gut the core. And the Hogs are used to wipe out any outlying defenses that may or may not have gone down. Or definitely haven't gone down. Hogs don't care about dead defenses. They only care about living defenses. And there you go. Queen pops her ability. There goes that last cannon. And I think now, yeah, that's all the defenses. The Hogs are part of the cleanup. So, Armchair General with... I think, fundamentally, a fantastic attack strategy. Not against the very best base, of course, but we don't, um, you know, th th it depends on the uh, the person building the base that determines if it's a good base or not. But Armchair General, I think, three stars at fresh. I'm not entirely sure, but you want to, especially if you're a Tunnel 10, you want to put your Town Hall on the outside of the base and make that core extremely tricky with your traps and walls and all that. Otherwise, it's going to be a fairly easy three star for your opponent. So Armchair General grabbing it down very, very nicely. You Using what I I call it the, the 
the Falcon. I don't know if it's actually called the Falcon, but I call that the Falcon. So shout out to Armchair General. Nicely done. A shout out to Gary for um for his for his base. So now guys, I've got one more attack. This is Archimedes from Fix at Rush. This is the this is the account that had no queen. And it was a title 10 whenever I first started using the account. Um, and now I'm pulling down 10v10s. Now, of course, look at the base. The walls, the defense is not, it's not that great of a base. It's not that well advanced is what I mean. It still has a lot of, uh, of it needs to do a lot of work to become a real max title 10. But this strategy or this, uh, this base was really fun to hit. And you'll see why. So I start the queen walk on this far right hand side and notice that there is basically if you I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit I went ahead and dropped the hog that was a CC lure the uh, the electro dragon on the outside I went and dropped the rage to deal with that uh, that electro dragon and the poison spell over that so no big deal CC's taken care of but if you look at the base we have a big open compartment in the middle with some expos inside right the wall wrecker would do a fantastic job of wrecking straight through the core I think so check this out queen gonna wipe out the enemy queen gonna wipe out the enemy king level 40 queen by the way absolutely epic wizard tower goes down as well and now it is all about figuring out which way the queen's gonna go I think she's gonna go down uh, but you want to be sure oh yeah dude look at this she barely hangs on here okay it, it felt a lot more drastic whenever I was actually doing the attack but here we go guys wall wrecker going in and we're trying to funnel in front of the queen so we want the queen we want the valkyries as I'm using falcon as well we want all those troops to go into the core so here's what we got wall wrecker is going to basically wreck through the entire inner corridor so check it out wall wrecker is going to give them access to the inferno tower the Valkyries are going to keep on trucking through the base. I went ahead and healed because of all the wizard towers. Here's another rage to get the Valkyries up in front doing a uh, uh, doing a good job there. And I've got some hogs that I'm going to go ahead and supplement. Send them next to the Valkyries. That way they end up working all together inside the same heal spell at the end. So here's the heal. Definitely needed that heal because of the, uh, the, inf uh, the wizard tower and the bomb towers and stuff. And look at this wall wrecker. The wall wrecker went all the way through the base and never exploded that's crazy it got to the town hall it's got max valkyries in there i prefer valkyries some people prefer um prefer the the bowlers but i like the valkyries and uh just just fantastic guys i mean i'm down to just free spells now so check out this freeze it's perfect timing that valkyrie in the front of the queen is gonna uh, basically hold off the inferno for a while unfortunately i didn't get that freeze quickly enough that the valkyrie did die but the queen takes out that inferno all by herself that was pretty dang awesome i love bringing me some max freezes in my cc whenever i or, or um uh, those aren't max oh yeah i got a max freeze in my cc very good and there you go there's a three star so that was a fun one i enjoyed that attack again going through that middle that big long corridor in the middle of the base letting my valkyries just kind of run around raging where they are healing over them and um sending in a supplementary hog as, as long as you keep your queen walk alive that strategy is almost always at three star. So that's another Falcon, guys. A lot of Queen Walks today, a lot of Bow Witch, a lot of Valkyries and Hogs. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Also, if you are if you have client mates that are struggling, please share this video with them. And um, like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily gaming videos. And of course, once again, shout out to my clan, the Knights of Zion, for their 13th win in a row. We got a good streak going, and this one was a close one. But shout out to Loyalty and Power. I know I had at least one person comment in a previous video from Loyalty and Power. So shout out to them. Great war. Always down for a rematch. Guys, that's it for me. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.